chapter 4 it is uh, introduction to e-commerce let's start a quick chapter summary first uh, it is uh, e-commerce so what is e-commerce the use of internet for conducting different types of business activity it is known as electronic commerce and e-commerce can also be defined as buying and selling of different products after that different services and informations by using electronic media like internet after that next topic it is uh, internet bookshops one one of the first application of e-commerce on internet it is the first online bookstore we started by amazon so amazon.com after that the different other uh, internet bookshops are available shopping.indiatimes.com buybooksindia.com bookshop of india.com next topic it is electronic newspapers so different types of electronic newspapers it is known as e newspaper right and it is a newspaper that exists on the internet in the digital format right and it also removes the hassle of printing process and the further help in reducing the cost right so majority of the leading paper now provides e newspapers after that online auctions auction means it is the process of buying and if selling the different process or the different services by offering the customers to bid the price and selling the products to the highest bidder that e-commerce technologies allows the people to bid on internet it is known as online auction and when you place a product for online auctions on this sites you are seller at the same time you can uh, also bid for a product which is placed by other sellers on the site in this case you are bidder right so in these websites the registration is compulsory and these are the websites names ebay.com mybeads.in and ubeat.com <clears throat> after that marketing and selling different types of uh, companies nowadays conduct their business of marketing and selling of different goods and the different services by their websites and they provides their online products catalogs images and the different videos customers can view the different catalogs and the sell select the products of the choice by adding them to the shopping cart and before payment the product add edit or delete options are possible the website Indian railway website it is irctc.co.in different other examples are home shop 18 flipkart mintra and make my trip.com next you pay online bills so online billing the companies send their bills to the customers through the emails once the customer receives that bills then they pay online on the company's website using the credit cards or net banking and the different other online transaction options after that companies who need to send the bills to the large number of customers periodically can use these facilities right so these are the some examples it is given in the textbook that is bsnl and lic information based services many organizations use the internet to provide the latest information to the users or the members and this includes the educational institutes and institutes and the different universities right they send the exam results online enrollment forms examination schedules sitting enrollment and important notice and the reminders after that support services related e-commerce websites after selling the products companies are providing online support to the customers software companies provide the online supports for any problem of the installations or sorry installations or the configuration or the use right and software vendors also allows their licensed customers to download the recent updates and of that particular software 
So hardware is handled for the software's drivers and the website. After the next one, it is the net banking or the electronic banking. It is get more popular day by day. Online banking, it is the process of conducting the banking activities or transactions over the internet. You can check account balance anytime, transfer the money from one account to another, obtain statement for any credit or debit, right? Find the status of the transactions and pay various bills online. What is in the traditional commerce which operates within the certain period of uh, time or during the business hours, right? No sharing of information with the competitors, then hiring the sales persons and the sales managers and many other persons after that the location renting or the purchasing advertisements inventory shipping of the different products what is in the e-commerce e-commerce means advertising of the products done electronically customers can browse the products catalogs and the different available offers after that e-payment systems are used to receive receiving the payments goods are delivered to the customers within the few days right payment options different types of payment options are available net banking credit card smart card and the different other payment mechanism reduce the per transaction cost and reduce the time taken to the perform all over transactions by the e-commerce what is uh, in the e-commerce in india right so internet connections broadband and the 3g 4g and the 5g services are there in the Indian rural area, right? So, easy availability of the laptops, smartphones, tablets, and the different other dongles and uh, Wi Fi's, right? Increase the use of the mobile device, availability of the much wider range of products, after that, busy lifestyle, traffic injections, and the lack of time and uh, for the traffic, uh, traditional shopping, after that, lower price compared to the retail market. And these are the different online stores available in India, Flipkart, eBay, Snapdeal, Mintra, Domino's, Paytm, Jobang and many other. Different advantages of e-commerce are, first one, it is uh, conduct business 24-7, lower cost, no boundaries or the geographical limitations, after that uh, improve and better customer services, teamwork, eliminate time, travels and cost, right, and uh, speed. These are the different advantages of e-commerce. Next one, it is the limitations of e-commerce. Resistance to change, initial cost, the security and privacy issues, lack of trust, the time for delivering of the products, right. Perishable products uh, like the fruit, vegetables are not uh, preferred to be purchased online and credit cards very small and the large transactions are not preferred to be conducted online. After that, these are the different models are available that uh, e-commerce business models. The first one it is B2C, it is uh, business to consumer, business to business, consumer to consumer and consumer to business. These are the four models are available. After that first one it is business to consumer. It is uh, business organizations that sell the products or the services to the consumer over the internet by using websites. Consumers from anywhere can browse and order the products services anytime. The sellers can sell products directly to the consumers. Buyers are individual customers. Right? B2C the most likely to see on the internet and these are the some examples of B2C model Amazon.com, Reddit.com, Fibmart.com or the flipkart.com next one it is uh, business to business this activities uh, between the different business partners sellers and buyers are business entities e relationship with the suppliers distributors and different agents right b2b models consumers are the other companies these are the examples commodity.com and tradeindia.com Next one, consumer to consumer, it is C2C, e-commerce activities involve transactions between and among the customers, consumers. Directly deal with the each others through the online auctions, right? classified advertisements without the involving of the third party, any internet users can become a vendor or the purchaser. Auction sites are good example of the C2C models, examples are ebay.com, olx.com and quicker.com. 
then next modality is the consumer to business right so what is in this model consumers determine the price of the product or the different services it involves the reverse auctions customers have the choice of wide range of the products and the different types of services companies bid to offer the products and the services to the consumer reducing the bargaining time after that the examples are the bidstall.com and zitly.in and the e-commerce government models uh, are government to business then government to citizen government to citizen and government to government what is in that government to business it refers to the services informations provided by the government to the business organizations by using the internet the business organizations can get all the informations related to the business policies after that approvals for the starting the business and set up requirements of the other and the different other specifications various forms can be filled submitted online to the related government offices and this is the website example that is uh, income tax india dot gov dot in then government to citizen it is g2c go objectives of this business model it is to provide the good and efficient services to the individual citizens of india part of the e governance and provides the information regarding the various uh, government departments welfare schemes and the different application forms to be used by the citizens right an example is gujarat state wide area network jiswan.gov.in next model it is uh, government to government it is uh, non commercial communications between the government agencies and organizations and development with other government agency organizations and department right so when you with this sharing the information right it help us to reducing the it cost streamline pro uh, procedures and uh, the government offices can be more efficient right so this is the end of chapter number 4 summary thank you <laughs>